No time to be wasted. No we time. Gotta find, we got to find a game to replace number one. To be wasted. We are back, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, with game number five of this Will Cheese Fail Cold Cast Marathon. Although last game uh, wasn't like the well. It I wasn't the worst. I, I, it wasn't the worst. We'll give it second place it's so second, far. Second place so far, but that's not saying much. That's not saying much. I'm going to give a quick shout out to my man Submersible Fox for two things. One, sick name. Two, for his comment in chat that just said, I could have submitted a Command and Conquer replay that would have been better StarCraft than some of these games. Wow. And he's not wrong. That's win. Mr. Maximus Black. Yes, sir. Hit me up with the sound of taking on a giant monster. Come on, you motherfucker! <laughs> Perfect. That's what I would be. That's the you, gotta, you gotta amp yourself up. Like you can't be a quiet like no, killer. You gotta go. You gotta for go it. and yelling. Like you, you gotta, gotta assert it. dominance. Yeah. You gotta let him Stare know. Stare it in the eyes as you piss on its foot. That's it. Right there. Assert dominance. I'm just over, just in between games, just talking up Dragon's Dogma to Jeff because he needs to get on that shit. This game is dope. It is pretty dope. It's dope. Uh, Thor is here, starting up here in the top left position, and down here in the bottom left, we have Rasta Basta. Yeah, that's about that's Rasta Basta. <laughs> sure. Um, early. So we've got another. Oh no, this is a PVT. I thought it was PVP for a second. Um, this map is very, very Terran favored because of the choke points. Yeah, it's got good chokes here. It's and also short distance. It's also got the island. <laughs> There's so much going for Terran here um, on this map. It's it's not the funnest thing to play Word against. Where on the street is Terran starts with a thousand minerals. Pretty much. <laughs> just, just hey. Pretty much. Hey, you're Terran on this map. I Here's actually played. Minerals. I actually played against someone that legitimately just lift off and went to the gold, and I was like, where the hell is he? And he ended up just wrecking my face because I had no idea. That, that, that happened. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that happened. That's really unfortunate. Doesn't happen often. It only happened once, but it was kind of cool. To I, watch. I enjoy how on this map the debris for the bottom of the ramp is just like a like a like a metal gate. Where? Like the, the debris that they have on the corners there. Remember that they're still using because they couldn't come up with a oh, more this? elegant solution to yeah. the ramp blocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of weird. Why they would have that like that? So here, here's some rebar. We were gonna make a ramp, but fuck it. And it takes so long to destroy it too. You're just like shooting it with guns it's and like, everything. Can we just drag this shit off somewhere? Yeah. Or something. Um. Well, what do we have going on? It looks like he's gonna float down a Rax. Um. Uh, just gonna use this for scouting purposes. He's taking a Marauder. Oh, the reason why the Marauder was going that way is because he actually blocked off the pathway for the Marauder with the pylon. That's a fair reason to no longer use that route. It's actually a, it's actually a really good thing to do, and I and I, I should actually be doing this against Zerg you more often. It too. You can overcharge that pylon, which is nice, um, but it's just one pylon. I mean, at the end of the day, you can waste an overcharge on one pylon. You could put you could put two and put the first the the second pylon further up so that they can't attack the overcharged pylon. You can, you can, but you only can do so many overcharges. So I mean, you overcharge. Usually smart players just walk away and go, okay, well, I'll be back. And, of course, uh, the Mothership core is going to be uh, nerfed oh in terms of energy. Oh, go, oh, 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 And the damage. The Cyclone whoa, will whoa, kill whoa, you. Whoa, 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 Yep. Rip. Um, well, that was, uh, well, the Cyclone's out. Good news for him. Pylon's in the way. And he killed the, uh, the Cyclone with the last hit. A second Cyclone is coming out. I don't know if this is necessarily a cheese. Um, you know, rushing out cyclones is not fun to deal with. But sure, we'll call Damn. it. A, we'll call it a cheese. People are calling out Nathaniel for this. So is this is this his ghost pepper cheese hype that's happening right now? That I, I actually went on his stream as I do randomly and uh, heard him mention this. But never saw anything happen. Uh, I, I have no idea. I mean, it's a very cute play. I mean, look at the range that the Cyclones have. You've got... You're using your racks. This is actually very creative. Um, He's using racks for the vision. The vision yeah, I would right? actually... I mean, if, cyclone, if I was if I was actually protest right I'd now, I would be... Ra I would actually rage right now. Yeah. I would be... And now a second Cyclone is out. This Void Raid is going to get wrecked. I would actually just be raging. Because they, they can shoot and still move at the same time. They have a crazy range, and they do insane damage. Well, he's using the Rex as a way of getting vision, which is smart. This is like... Yeah. Yeah, wow. Why, why do they give Terran so many units 
with absurd levels of DPS. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't want to get into. A, I don't want to start bashing Terran because I don't want to make our Terran viewers uh, salty. But this is pretty fucked up. Like, obviously there uh, are counters to this, but like, I just conceptually, it I don't know. Baffles can, me as to why. Can you name counters the, for this? Because I'm. I'm. I, the only thing that I'm thinking of that can really counter this build is if you're opening up um, Robo and you're getting out Immortals, um, and you're still going to need like a War Prism or something to one. to pick up and and and. Pick up and drop, pick up and drop, pick up and drop, and if they focus your war prism, then you can uh, kill kill them off. But um, this is very very tough to stop. I, I'm actually just trying to think of what the proper stoppage is, and the problem is, is this build looks very similar just, like, to every other build that there is. What if you what if you like just rushed out oracles when you because if you can no. do it when it's only one cyclone, doesn't matter. Or uh, one cyclone will kill an oracle very quickly. What about two oracles? You can kill them with two, but the thing is, is the cyclones move around so quickly. If you're in their base, or if they have a second uh, or um, cyclone, your oracles will still die. And if they even have a, like two marines shooting with, um, with the cyclones, your oracles will still die. Well, uh, despite the damage, he's at least getting out of the base now. Yeah, there's clear, uh, the immortals are out now. Like the immortals will kill the uh, kill the cyclone in three hits. Oh, God, um, fuck. God damn, dude. That, range. That's. I mean, this is sexy. I'm. I'm, I'm watching. A, I'm watching. This is a creative cheese. I like this. this yeah. Is, this is good. I think we finally found one that's that's good. You know, top. Yeah. Top the first game. Yep, for sure. All thanks. All thanks to uh, our man Nathanius. Yeah. I. I would definitely. I would. <laughs> I mean, the the problem is, is, is all these builds look the same. When you're opening up, you know, uh, racks into, uh, factory, it all looks the same. So there's no way to judge if this guy is is legitimately going to be going for a bunch of cyclones, or he's going to be going into liberators, or he's just going to go into siege tanks or whatever. And you've got these uh, these SCVs repairing these cyclones, but once again, immortals just wreck cyclones. Well, period. If you had, it, you know, if the Terran had better macro behind this, yeah, it would have been game over. Yeah, but. Yeah, you just put the shield on, Bob's your uncle. Yeah, the range oh, is just crazy. Ra look yeah. at the range! Well, the range is there as long as you have vision. Hot he can literally be over here, hot and he will damn. ping He will ping his ass to death. Damn! Oh yeah, dude. It's it's good, it's good. Uh, but it's even better when you... when you. I didn't even think about bringing this Rax. I haven't had... I haven't ran into this. Nobody's done this to me on ladder. It's a very, very... I'd uh, brace for it. Yeah. Because it's probably going to happen. Well, unfortunately, somebody... unfortunately for them, I go a lot of adept immortal all in, so I think I would probably crush it anyway. And as soon as I see cyclones going down, um, coming down my way, I I always just drop down three pylons, and I have my overcharge here waiting. So they normally don't do too too much damage unless I, I miss micro something. But with that Rax in play, um, they can kill these pylons and be out of range of an overcharge. But it would take a little while for them to eventually break through, and by that time, I'd have an immortal. Um, but, I mean, Thor is here. He's made a lot of macro mistakes. He didn't get an expansion behind it. I think a better player using this build, it's going to be very, very dangerous. And they're well, not going to lose those well, that's, Cyclones that's the I'm way saying. that he lost them. They're not going to lose the Cyclones. They're going to have macro behind it. And I think that was the only the only reason why uh, Arasta was able to get out of his base so easy with that first push is because there wasn't anything at the bottom of the ramp of Cyclones. Yeah. So, uh, definitely creative. Definitely. I like it. Definitely good on this map for sure, uh, and uh, probably any. Well, it doesn't even like the map size isn't even that bad. I think in this case it's good because the, the bear doesn't have the much much of a distance to travel. Mm -hmm. Oh, bro. Man, he's just throwing units. Bro. It makes me cry a little bit bro. as a Protoss player. Like when I see engagements like that, you know, the yeast infection comes back and it hurts. Bro. And it itches. And it's not fun. This is the second time. Did you have like a yeast infection recently? No. You just drop in the yeast. You know infection, what? It, like... You know what it is. The reason why I have yeast infection in my mind right now is because some fucking guy the other day uh, had a request for a song, and it was that damn yeast infection song. Did you oh, ever hear that yeah, song? It's yeah. the most disturbing, disgusting. The only reason I heard it is because I was on your stream. Well, there you go. And ever since then, I've been like haunted by yeast infections. My God, it's not. It's not great. Uh, well, here comes a drop of two immortals. One siege tank's not going to do a whole lot of damage to these things, but these marines no, but certainly will. Marines will do it. Yep, he's going to have to back off. And it looks like we got a regular game on our hands. This isn't a bad game. Well, this now, is, this is, now we've, we've leveled out. This is the best game of the tournament because, so far. Because Terran has terrible macro, we have a regular game now happening. Uh, and now we get to see what these gentlemen have. 
Uh, so far, it uh, it seems as you know, honestly, the Protoss player is obviously, I think, still in a, a better position overall. Uh, the Terran is just getting into his expansion. It's getting now. a fleet beacon here, so we're gonna see some tempests, uh, which is tempest on this map. Pretty good. Yeah, it's actually this. I, I mean, I ha I haven't. <gasps> Pardon me, I haven't used them on this map, but um, it so just seems like it makes sense. I mean, yeah. you've got so much. You've got so much room to maneuver around and not have anything hit you from, from basically, if you're not air, the odds of them hitting you are not great. Yeah. Uh, there goes that ops. And of course, Tempests are pretty much a must to have against Liberators throughout the mid to late game. You have to have Tempests. Um, either that or you better have had like an economy lead and your army is just way bigger than theirs because... Four or five Liberators will zone the shit out of you, and if you take an engagement into those with the bio behind it, your your army will get melted. Trust me, there is plenty of games that I've went in and go, you know what, my dick is really big. You know, I may be half. I have, I may I have be, an above average oh, size penis. Oh, for sure. I mean, I may be half black, but I, you know, I'm packing. So I'm going. You know what? I'm going to go in there and I'm going to show. I'm going to show him what it's all about. And he said, you know what, bro? I, I'm I'm Mexican, and I've You're got Mexican. A, I've got a bigger. And I, go, and I go in there thinking, oh, yeah, I've got what it takes. Nope, I don't. <laughs> and Liberators will take you down. Well, you know, it was a good effort. It was a solid effort all around. I appreciate the effort. But, you know, sometimes you think you have the bigger dick. And you don't. And then somebody else comes in and their shit's around their ankles. And you're like, oh, well, you know. Yep. I'm not sweeping the floor with mine. Nope. So. Um, and this is a very, very tough position for the Protoss. Chances are he will lose this expansion. Um, I don't know why the Marines are going in there. He could just literally back these Marines off and get them to come into the circle where the Liberator is. And now the Tempest in behind, shooting that Liberator. It goes down. He still has an Immortal. Those Will tanks be able are to putting get in work. enough. He manages to get one of them, but still one tank remains. And this Those Nexus tanks will go down. Put in value. so much value work. Yep. yep. He's not even focusing on anything but that Nexus. He wants to get rid of it, and as he should, he's going to, I guess, turn his attention to the uh, units for a moment. Clear that up. Uh, and despite the poor macro game, the Terran with, with tank positioning and some probably mismanagement, honestly, by the, the Protoss player, has now evened it up and then some. Oh, he's, he's, he's he way went ahead. To the barber and He went to the barber and said, even up the ears, and the barber accidentally Van Gogh'd him. <laughs> is what happened. <laughs> Walked in. Gave him that 0-10 <laughs> fade. <laughs> that scene, that zero, 0 fade. Yeah. Um, shaved bald. So, let me see here. He's got two Tempests. He's going to rebuild the Nexus. Let's take a look at the units. 26 SCVs to 35 probes. Problem is, Terran still has an army, and this is very minimal. I mean, sure, two Tempests can do a lot of damage, but if the Terran is smart, he can stim underneath and deal a lot. All he has is one Immortal and a couple of Stalkers. Actually, just one Stalker, one Immortal. <laughs> is not a whole lot he can do. He might be able to pick off the Siege Tank, though, before this Bio can get over here. It's going to take, what, five hits? Well, not with, no, uh, no, not with an no, Immortal, immortal. underneath. And there it is. There's the stim underneath. He's going to lose the Immortal and a Tempest. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was just on the outside edge there. Tempest almost got away. That's actually pretty... That's that's pretty much rip. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's game over. That's game over. And the and cheese wins. there it is. The cheese wins. Yep. But, uh, yeah, again, um, definitely a solid use of Cyclones. Yeah. I mean, having bringing the Tempest up here was not smart. This is where you want it to be with those yeah, Tempests. Yeah, there's so much space. I mean, look at the range. You can see the circle. I mean, the siege yeah. tank was right around here. You could have easily gotten in and out. You didn't even need to take the Immortal and the Stalker. I mean, you've got to really use your brain here. You have you saw that a siege tank was going back to his base. He still had like 16 to 20 Marines gone back to his base, not including the ones that he's building after that engagement. And yet you're going to run up an Immortal and a Stalker? I mean, use your head here. What, what exactly is that going to do for you against that army? The last army that you saw is the minimum of what you're going to fight when you go up there. And one siege tank and one immortal is not is not enough. It would have been nice for him to just take these tempests, come up here, do the harassment while building back at base, putting down a couple of pylons, getting out that um, that mothership core again for a potential counter, so that he could actually have some sort of home court advantage and get off those overcharges. Still, it's a long stretch to win that game, but you got to use your brain sometimes. You just can't take those fights. No, you, just you can't. can't. No, no. You, you you sit back, you poke when you can. I mean, even, even though he would, he was going up there to his death anyway, the fact that he didn't put his Tempest there told you that he had pretty much given up. Yeah. He's just not thinking about it. But hey, good, solid cheese. I like game. it. Thank you, Nathanius, for, uh, for making that popular. I'm sure you're going to please lots and lots of people in the ladder with that. 
Um, because that's just, even when you're good, that's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that will be it for game number five. We're going to jump into game number six right after this. Make sure to check out our sponsors, Loot Crate. Of course, uh, this month is going to be Invasion. By the time you're seeing this on YouTube, though, a new theme will probably be up. So make sure to click on the link below to see what um, February's theme will be. And uh, if you're watching this on stream, this is what you can get into right now. Uh, also, G2A.com. Go check out those Super Saiyan prices and your wood watch is 5% off by using that promo code BOSE. And don't forget about those giveaways here on the stream and on YouTube. We'll see you guys in just a few. Stay tizzity. Sit tizzity. Sit tizzity? Yeah. Sit tizzity. I'm surprised you remember that. Yep.